Uh, fuck that whole chunk. Um, I, yeah, it's, I come from an immigrant family, so uh, it's a weird time to, uh, to be like uh, Hispanic, right? It's a weird time now. Because I'm Hispanic, but most people can't tell by looking at me, which is going to be really uncomfortable during the race war, right? <laughs> oh, it's happening. It's going down. 2021. Because it's got to be a situation where a group of angry black people have me in a corner, like, let's get him. And that's when I really have to amp up my ethnicity, where I'd be like, me head models, please. <laughs> Why are we fighting each other? And we could be working as one to fight a real enemy. El Diablo Blanco. <laughs> so I think that's how it's going to go down. Yeah, it's a weird time. We have Trump as president. Uh, a lot of people think Trump is a racist. Um, let's just say this. If Trump is not racist, he is really bad at not being racist, right? Like, he is terrible at the simple task of just not being racist. Because it's all over them. Like, you gotta really, you don't have to look that hard. Like, it's in his speeches. Because he does a thing that is very, a racist thing, which is he only learns enough of a foreign language to be racist. Right? It's small, but it's in the speech of Mexico. They're sending the worst people, a lot of murderers, a lot of rapists, a lot of bad hombres. <laughs> Situation is very bad. It's not good. No bueno. That's why we have to work very quickly on this wall. We cannot afford to go despacito. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, Chimichanga, Yo Quiero Taco Bell. A lot of people uh, are afraid of like, what he's gonna do. And stuff. I have the solution though for Trump. It's been in front of us the whole time. If you wanna deal with Trump, all you have to do is be nice to him. That's it. That's all he cares about are compliments. If you say nice things, he likes you. His best friends are Kim Jong-un, Vladimir Putin, Dennis Rodman, and Kanye West. Like, that's not even a group of friends. That's an off-Broadway production of Cuckoo's Nest. But he likes them because they're nice to him. Like, if ISIS came out and they were like, Donald Trump, he's the greatest leader in the world. Donald Trump is number one. The next day, he'd be like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like these ISIS guys. They do a lot of good work over there at ISIS. A lot of really good people. They say they're gonna cut a head off. They cut that head right off. <laughs> a lot of good people. I don't get, here's the thing I don't get. What's with the, uh, the helicopter press conferences that he does? I don't know if you notice, he's always screaming. Anytime he gives like a press conference, it's in front of a running helicopter, <laughs> which I've never seen any other president in history do. Which is like, if he didn't want that, he could stop it, right? He's the president. Nobody's like, hey, could you turn those off? Sorry, Mr. President, we can't. We need the helicopters. Anytime there's a press conference, he's always screaming in, in front of two motorized propellers going, I, listen, I don't know him. I never met the guy. I've never met him once in my life. I know last week I said he was my best friend, and I showed you a picture of him baptizing my baby, but I don't know him, and I don't know the definition of embezzlement. Like just screaming over the top, and the, the closest thing I could figure out, it's just probably the, the like the helicopter pilot, like two months in, who just didn't want to hear what he has to say anymore. You know, like he's like, let me tell you why Mother Teresa's a liberal pig. Like, ah, <laughs> you guys have been awesome. Thank you. Good night.